How y'all doing? Marcus, how, how good has it felt to be playing football again? Hey, what happened, man? Feel good, man. You know, we uh, doing some uh, good things, you know, trying to correct some things, but it feels good overall. What does it mean to you, like, to get back on the field and um, the emotion of that? I mean, I'm trying to win the Super Bowl, so it feels good to be uh, stacking my, my days, my weeks, you know, trying to get myself back to uh, where I, you know, where I usually would see myself at, man. But it feels good to be out there with my teammates playing fast, um, celebrating the win, and um, just trying to get, you know, continue to do that. Marcus, what's the biggest challenge to when you're going against a quarterback like Josh Allen? I mean, we just got to do our job. Each individual got a job to do, man, and we gonna, uh, we got a great plan that we feel like we're putting together to go out there and, and – uh, put on the show for Sunday, but we just got to do our job. Trust that each one of us is going to do our job and everything else to take care of itself. It's football at the end of the day. Marcus, you've been able to force turnovers your entire career. You, the Ravens struggled in that department last year. You come back this year, they want to get back to that. How much pride do you take in being able to be a part of taking the ball away? I mean, that's, I think it's the, the, the one of the key t- uh, things to, to win it, man. You know, you got to turn over the ball so you can get your offensive chance as many chances as possible to score points, man. And um, it ultimately takes away points for opportunities for them, you know. So it's something that we wanted to do a, do this year. We wanted to turn the ball over. So we, we, we started off fast with Marcus. You know, we got three picks. And, you know, we just trying to keep adding them on, man. Marcus, how excited were you to get a JPP as a guy on the front end who can help you know, harass the quarterback? I think just his veteran leadership, man, he, he, he didn't won it, what, three times, Super Bowl, I think, twice? Yeah, so you feel me? He he know what it takes to get to the Super Bowl, man. And uh, just watch him, you know, when they beat uh, the Chiefs, you know, um, I think he was a key part of putting together that, that rush plan, man, of, of, of how they can attack certain quarterbacks who mobile and those things. So I think it's going to be very big to add him, add him to our group, man. Marcus, I know it's early, but do you like how the pieces are coming together defensively? You guys weren't kind of – you didn't have everyone early, and it seems like each week you're introducing a couple more people. I think it's going to take some time for us to just, you know, just put it together. You know, we, it's going to be week by week. We're going to get better. You know what I'm saying? We we learning some guys, uh, learning each other. You know, we got some new pieces. And then, you know, we got some guys that's coming back. So, we know, it's going to take some time for all of us to, to kind of get this thing rolling. But once it's rolling, man, it's going to be clicking at the right time, and that's what we need. Man, we just got to keep communicating. <laughs> um, like I say, it's football mistakes going to happen, man, but we, but our, our job is to try to limit them. And then if they do happen, man, to come back and then, you know, just look on to the next play mentality, man, and just keep playing fast and trusting, trusting each other, you know, because I think all of us can get the job done in the back end, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just speak for my group. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? We can we can play a lot faster, you know, we can do a lot of a lot of things if we just communicate. So we're gonna be all right. Marcus, Marcus. You, you mentioned the you mentioned the new pieces. Uh, mm-hmm. the rookies in the secondary have had to play a lot right yeah. away. How do you feel like they're doing? I feel like they're doing good, man. I feel like everybody didn't attack their job week by week. Guys is attacking practicing practice the way that they should. And we like I say, we going we all gonna get better throughout this year and it's gonna be good for us. Marcus, your thoughts on Stefan Diggs and the challenge he poses for you? Good player, man. Explosive. We gotta be. We gotta be on our jobs, man. We gotta do whatever we can do to, you know, limit the rack and limit the deep ball. So, you know, we we got a, a great task coming here that we gotta gotta take. The Bills lead the NFL in yards per game passing, and uh-huh. right now you guys are at the bottom of that. Is that a motivating factor to prove that that's not who you are? <laughs> Uh, man, we ain't worried about no placement right now. We worry about getting things flowing so we can be the best defense and the best unit that we can be. And that's ultimately, it is just keep clicking uh, as the year go on. But we going to be all right, man. We ain't worried about all that stuff. We, once we get our shit rolling, it's going to be straight. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you don't forget getting it rolling. Uh-huh. Did you feel a lot or any different week two coming back or your second game as you closed the first game? Because you were out for over a year. I'm just wondering mm-hmm. how you're comfortable about it. No, I feel good, man. You know, I got to, you know, I'm enjoying football, man. I'm loving being back out there with the guys, you know, uh, loving attacking the, the week, man, and just, just trying to, like I say, man, I'm just, I'm not trying to peek too far, but, man, I know what this team going to be able to do once we get, get everything clicking, and it's going to take some time for us to get it clicking, but I love where we at right now, man. We competing at a high level. The coaches challenged us, uh, you know, coming off of, uh, you know, everything that happened with the Dolphins. And then we, I think we respond very well, man. We finished the game out, and now we just got to, you know, put it together. 
Marcus, what do you think Kyle Hamilton forced in this first turnover? Mm -hmm. What do you think that does for his confidence? I just keep telling the young man, play fast, man. You play fast and you don't worry about everything else. Just it'll take care of itself, man. And I think that's what he did. And plays, he's going to keep making them, man. He's going to be an excellent player in this league, man. His body type is is out of this world, you know what I'm saying? He, he loves football, so that's what that's all that matters. He loves football, so just keep playing fast and enjoying the game. You know for your interceptions, but that uh, fumble recovery was pretty impressive too. Did, it, is, did you know you have that in you, kind of making that ball, ball play? See ball, get ball. I wish PQ would have got the, uh, the fumble re uh, recovery when I stripped the uh, 84, but other than that, we, we straight, man. <laughs> All right, thank you, Marcus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> thank you.